Hi and welcome to my quaint cottage. I'm Jessica and in today's video I'm going to be redecorating my china cabinet for fall. As you can see I've already started decorating a little bit on the top for fall. So here is my turkey tureen that I picked up for the $10 thrift challenge. These little um, salt and pepper shakers I picked up Oh, last year, the year before, I honestly don't remember. Those were a thrift find. I collect these little whiteware creamers. That little gourd right there actually survived since last year. He's just been hanging around on my counter for a full year, so I'm expecting him to go and I'll replace him with new ones. And this is my little duck that I thrifted. And I got that, I don't even remember how long it's been since I thrifted that little lantern back there. I want to put something in there, pine cones or something. And then I've got, what is that called, a wood duck, a framed print of a wood duck up there. And some Walmart, uh, they were 50 cents for those live ivy plants and I just stuck them in two little planters that I already had. And those planters were thrifted. <laughs> so I opened my china cabinet and I'm just going to show you what I already had in there from spring. This set of dishes belonged to my grandmother and when she passed I was fortunate enough to get these. I remember as a child eating on these dishes. Of course that's a platter and there's the gravy boat and then she's got a place setting for I think 12 or 16. I don't know. I've never actually gotten them all out and used them. Um, we do use them occasionally, but my grandmother would go back and forth, and she, these would be her everyday dishes, and then she'd say, oh no, they're too nice, so then she'd put them away in our china cabinet, and growing up as a child, I spent a lot of time with her, and I love these dishes, but it's winter, it's going on winter time, and I want to switch these out for something that's more festive. So you can see I do have a lot of plated silver in here. This little um, breakfast caddy, you can either put toast in there or napkins, butter, and I do um, sugar and cinnamon in those shakers. And here's some salt and pepper shakers. These are all silver plate. And then down here, I've got another silver plate bowl. Some transferware in the back that's blue. That's for a story for another time. This is a little crystal bowl with a silver plate um, rim on it. This little piece is adorable. I just picked that up. I haven't shared it in a thrift haul because it was during a period when I was not filming. I absolutely love this little relish dish with a little hanging spoon. It's gorgeous. I am a sucker for the scalloped edge. I don't have anything that's actually in this style, but I didn't care because that's adorable. These little um, little cups I picked up, I'm sure I put them in a thrift haul. Um, they're just cut glass and I think that they are either for like a child set or they're individual salts and I'm going to use them for individual salts. Down here I have a lot more of my silver plate. You can't really see that so I'll have to show you as I take things out. I picked these up. I, again, I don't know if I shared them in a haul video. These are silver plate duck um, napkin holders and I thought this little butter dish was absolutely adorable. Um, I actually found another one. I don't know if it's identical but it only takes a half of a stick of butter and I think I found a twin to this one. Um, I'm going to have that in an upcoming uh, thrift haul video. Oh, that piece I picked up recently too and never shared it because I wasn't doing videos, but I've got to get this stuff out so I can show you what it is. Here I've taken out my grandmother's pieces. I love these gravy boats. Oh, wrong side. Isn't that pretty? But this is not all of her set by any means. Uh, it's just, it looks like in the spring I put a place setting for four with a couple serving dishes. Um, the set is huge, so I don't, I typically don't fill up the entire china cabinet with just her dishes because I want to display some of my other things. 
like this beautiful footed covered dish. This is plated silver. I do need to polish it, um, but I'll wait and do that for the occasion. Either that I feel like polishing a bunch of silver or I want to use that for a table setting. Here's another one. This one is not footed. It does have a lid again, and this one actually has Pyrex in it, so it's quite heavy. This piece is so cute. I looked at this for months and months. It's got three legs, and it's round, and you open it up, and there's a glass dish in there. Um, it was listed as an ashtray, but there's not a place to put a cigarette in there, so I'm thinking like uh, a mint dish, maybe? I don't know, but finally they clearanced it. They just wanted to get rid of it, and of course I had to pick it up, so this one came home with me. I don't remember. I remember where I got it, and I remember looking at it for months, but I don't remember how much I paid for it. Probably like $5. Here's a little silver plate gravy boat, and I still have the $3 sticker on there. Um, it, obviously, I never, I never polished this one, so this will go in a batch. Whenever I decide to polish, I'll just do a huge batch and polish everything at one time. Um, I've got a really easy way to polish. If you are scared of silver plate or don't like polishing, I will link that video because it is so simple. You don't even have to do anything. It just soaks and polishes itself. So super fast, super simple. It's actually fast, but is really easy. So I will link that and then uh, this will have to take a bath later. I love these covered casseroles. Um, this one actually doesn't have a casserole with it. I need to find one that fits in here. Here's some more little pieces. This one is really nice. It's a little terrine. It comes with a little spoon. Last two things to come out. A tray that I polished and a tray that I didn't polish. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Okay, now that I am finished dusting and windexing and cleaning the inside of my china cabinet, I can unpack uh, my winter and fall dishes. I love these dishes. This pattern, it's a transferware pattern. It's Mason Vista, and the, it's red Mason Vista. Sometimes it's called pink if you look it up. Um, I have been collecting this for years. I did just find this tray. This is my most recent find, I think, in this pattern. Thrifted, of course. The original set that I have is a place setting for four. I think, I'm pretty sure it's a place setting for four, and I actually got that on eBay years and years and years ago, and I have been collecting this pattern ever since. So let me go ahead and start unpacking. And the very next thing that came out of the box is a set of six. So apparently I got six in the set. These are little bowls. I don't know if they're berry bowls or cereal bowls. I just, I can't remember from year to year. So, uh, so let's see what else I have. This is a fabulous thrift store find, and it actually still has the price tag on it, $15. I stopped doing YouTube for about a year, maybe longer. And uh, so apparently I was not taking tags off of things with the idea that one day I would do a haul on them. And apparently today is the day. So anyway, uh, that has a $50 sticker on it. Normally my threshold, my threshold for thrifting is $5, but this is my pattern, guys. Look at that. Look how pretty that is. So this is quite a large bowl, and it does have a couple blemishes inside right here. I don't know if you can see that. Yes, you can see that. Um, but it's not going to keep me from using it. So, and even if I just use it as a, a fruit bowl or something like that, look how pretty that is. As you can see, this set has ivy on it. And after I started collecting these, I started collecting these. So this is, I don't know if you can see that, it's called, it's called Ribbed Ivy. And this is lead crystal. It's antique lead crystal. 
and I pick these up anywhere I can find them. I have several of these. This is a master salt, so this would, you know, have a little salt spoon in it, and you would put this on the table, and everybody would, instead of a shaker, everybody would use out of this. And for whatever reason, again, I have this, I didn't take the sticker out. That is so strange. Um, because I know I have several of these, and maybe this one hasn't been used. No, it's dirty, so I never did use this one. I just stuck it in my in my china cabinet, but it has a sticker in there, $7. There you go. Isn't that interesting? I am such a clutter bug, I guess. And see, here's the other salt. This is the one that I've had for years and years and years. Here is another um, Master Salt. And now I'm unpacking the dishes. Yay! The full-size plates. Let's put those in. And of course, the little set has teacups. And I have more ribbed ivy. This one is an egg cup. And this one is a cordial glass. This is one of the first pieces of ribbed ivy that I ever got. I think I found it on eBay for $15 years and years ago, and uh, it's called a it's called a spill glass, which basically was a spill was a little piece of wood that you would use like a match. It doesn't you can't strike it. It was just a little piece of wood. You would take it from your hearth um, to you know to transport fire from your hearth to a candle or something like that after matches were invented and became more, not invented, but after matches became widely used, um, they kept making these and they rebranded them as um, spooners. So when you set your table, you would have your spoons in here or your silverware in here. And later they were also, um, they were also um, remarketed as celery glasses. So you would have a little bit of water in there and you would put your celery in there to serve on the table to keep it fresh. And as you can see, I have two of those because once you get into collecting, every time you see it, you have to have that one again and so you end up with duplicates. Hopefully one day my entire china cabinet will be full of entire sets of these sorts of things. And this large piece is a sugar bowl. The saucers that go with the teacups. Okay, so this is where I am right now. I've moved some things around. I'm missing a little saucer right here, so I'll have to see if I can find that. I don't know if it broke or what happened to it. I decided to take um, all of the things off of the second shelf because I'm going to fill that up with my silver plate platters. Uh, not platters, uh, covered dishes and things. And then I moved that down there. And then I'll have the bottom available as well for my silver plate. I know without even thinking about it that that little um, breakfast caddy is going back in as well as this little relish dish. And look, I left the tag on this one too. Too funny, $12. I vaguely remember thinking, oh, that's way outside of what I wanna pay for that, but I just couldn't get away from that scalloped edge on that dish. Too cute.
know which one I want to put in that space. I don't know if I like this one better. There's too much extra space around it. Or if I like that one better. That one kind of makes it look too cluttered. So I don't know. Maybe I need to find a new piece to put there. Let me know in the comments if you like this little breakfast caddy better or this gorgeous relish dish. Obviously, I love the relish dish, but um, I don't know. I just didn't seem to fill that space enough. So let me know what you think. Here are a few of the things that came out of my china cabinet and did not make it back in. These dishes I'm just going to put on the buffet and we will just be able to use those regularly. I don't know that the children will actually grab these little cereal bowls, um, but I might use them for fruit or little salad bowls whenever I set the table. There you go, my china cabinet is all finished for the season. I'll probably be adding more items in there as I thrift them, and I do need to go in and do a whole batch of silver. There's so much silver that I have that needs to be polished. I need to do something about that. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe below. Do hit the bell for notification of new video upload. As always, have a blessed day. Bye-bye.